I heard him mention here earlier, and I did hear some people chuckle when he said, we'll take this town hall meeting to everywhere in the country and other parts of the world and all over the world. It sounded like a joke. But it did sound like a joke when we started. I said that the platform that I manage will be the platform that is the voice, the eyes, and the ears of the people. That is absolute. There's no discussion about it. There's no debate about it. I believe that the people have a right to be heard under any circumstance and in all situation. Everybody should have a voice. Everybody should be heard. Whether it matters or not, they should at least be heard. So when Bernard was saying we're taking it around the world, we are actually taking that literally. Because on the 28th of September, mark it in your diary, on the 28th of September 2024, News Central will be in New York, in the United States of America, and we will be taking all Nigerians in diaspora and will tell them, join us. Let us speak to our government. Let us speak to our nation. I spent almost 20 years in the UK, but I believe that Nigerians anywhere in the world should have a say in how this nation is run. And they should have a right to contribute to the development of the nation. It shouldn't just be a case of transferring money to Nigeria to help people, but it should also be that they are able to vote. And their vote has got to count. By God, it will count. So ladies and gentlemen, it's a joy that we'll be in New York on the 28th of September. Watch out for that. All Nigerians in diaspora will be welcome. Those who are in the US will join us physically. And those who are in Canada, Australia, Japan, even Togo, Nigerians are there. Like some of our friends when I was living in England used to say, if you go anywhere in the world and you look around, you don't find a Nigerian, pack your bag and run. That's what they used to say. Nigerians are everywhere, all around the world. And you find their children everywhere as well. Our men marry all kind of human beings all over the world. And that's the truth. We're very virile people, aren't we? We are very unique, we're very strong, we're very virile. So our children are everywhere around the world. And we, it has to mean something. We've got to be able to influence whatever happens anywhere in the world. So let me wrap up by saying this. I have a very good friend who works with Tribune newspaper. He's incredibly talented and intelligent. His name is Dr. Lassisi Olagunju. He writes a piece on the back page of Tribune on a regular basis. I don't like missing Lassisi Olagunju's uh, page. But one of the things he wrote recently relates to what we're here to do. He said that um, Arise News founder, Nduka Baigbena, well, let me disclose this. Nduka Baigbena is my brother, he's my friend, and from the day I met him, I have never worked with him at that time. I call him my boss. So Ndukao Baigbena is always my boss, no matter what happens. So he said that Ndukao Baigbena, some days ago, received some people from the presidency, including the Minister of Information and other people that work in the president's uh, media team. When they got there, they spoke, and he listened. And Prince Obagbena told them the truth, according to Lassie Olagunju. Uh, he said, people say you're not communicating. This is Prince Nduka Obagbena saying to Minister of Information and people that came from the presidency. People say you are not communicating. You are communicating. You are here. You came to arise. 
but the communication you are not doing is communication by example. The people of Nigeria, they want the government to communicate by example. They need to see that when people cry, there is a communication that resonates with the people. Something that shows that they are not deaf. They can hear and they're not dumb. They will speak and speak to the situation of the people, which is why we have opted to set up this opportunity through what we have called the News Central Town Hall Series to give opportunity to every Nigerian across every length and breadth of the country. And then, of course, every part of the world. We're going to New York in September. We'll be going to other parts of the world in November, in December, and going forward until God says, enough, you guys have done all you need to do. Nigeria has changed. Then maybe, then maybe we will consider our decision on town hall meetings. So finally, I remember that my dear sister and friend, who is a true patriot, Obiozekwesili, was here. She's outside the country. She was in a meeting, but she did squeeze in a minute or two to be able to speak to us today. She was emphatic about the fact that there is a dire situation in this country at the moment. But she was also very emphatic that Nigeria definitely should hear and listen very clearly to what the people are saying. So protest is a way of life at any point in time. If you're unhappy about anything, feel free to protest. It is not about changing any government. It is not about removing anybody from the office. It's not about anything else. If you say there is bad governance, then of course you have a right to protest. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much. And please note that this is not over. There is going to be food served. Unfortunately, those who are on Twitter and Facebook will be sending it to your mailbox for you. Yes, you'll get it in your mailbox, as some people do. But those who are here, there will be lunch for you. And the conversation continues, because once I put the mic down, we'll go off air, and those who are here can continue to have the conversation. Thank you ever so much. Bernard.